Chimpy Bowlers 20. So, my last post, man. Like, do I need to remind this damn boy that his last name, Lynn? Like, come on, man. Let's stop this, man. These people, man. Like, <laughs> like there is no way possible, man, he would have made it on one of our teams, man, with that bullshit going on on his head, man. Like, come on, man. Like, somebody really need to tell him, like, all right, all right, bro, we get it. We get it. Like, you want to be black. Like, we get it. But the last name is Lynn. All right? I'm out. See, I didn't ruffle a few of y'all feathers, so good. Um, take y'all comments to the bank and see what they give y'all for them. That's what I think about him first and foremost. Um, but that man grown. That man can rock whatever hairstyle he want to rock. That don't mean I have to like it or agree with it. Second of all, I'm grown. I can say whatever I want to say about whatever I want to say it about. Ain't about race. Ain't about none of that. Like, grow up, people. It was a joke. But I don't like it. It don't. I don't agree with it. So, it is what it is. I love it. I'm having a fabulous Wednesday, man. Y'all do the same. Go Cowboys. us against each other like I won versus Kenyon Martin winning like I don't think that's the right way to go about it like it's not really about winning or losing like the whole point is that like we're trying to be unified so I feel like even sometimes when people come to me and say oh man like you you embarrass him or it's like dude that's not that's not what it's about right like that's not the whole point of this discussion is is to pit it into two sides and see who wins like the whole point is that we all have to get on the same page and I think like we like we need to have people stop going on his page and saying racist things to him too. Like that's not okay. Um, so that's that's what I would say is, at the end of the day, we all have to be able to, like, kind of what I said in my article, right? Like we just need to spend a little bit more time thinking about what we say, thinking about what it's like to be somebody else. Like, at the end of the day, he said what he said, but I'm not really that offended. Like if that's how he thinks, that's how he thinks. But my job is still to be gracious, loving, and whatever. And I think if I can you know, just share with him a little bit of my side, I think the next time maybe he'll have a different viewpoint. You know, he might have a different viewpoint in a week, but not if I, not if my whole fan base comes behind and just starts calling him like that. Like, I didn't see, but I heard, like, people were saying, like, the N-word on his page and stuff. It's just like, that's not what I stand for at all, and I hope that's not, like, and that's not really helping us move in the direction that we want to move in. And I think, like, I think both sides need to come together and... And then I think, like I said in, in my comment, as minorities, it's like if we are able to appreciate, like if Asians are able to be passionate about issues that aren't just related to Asians, if African Americans are able to be passionate about issues that aren't just related to African Americans, I think we'll start to see something big happen. Um, and I think we'll be able to, like I said, influence mainstream society. And I think that's the ultimate goal. And, but it, all this pitting me against him or, you know, whatever, like anything that creates that division, I, I don't really stand for. So that's basically all I would say. Sorry, I was so loud.